Microsoft Access Move Info from one table to another video number six. If you recall from the earlier videos we extract the information from this record set here and insert it back into the other table here. Alternatively we can get rid of this and directly transfer the data into the form. So what we need to do is let's see how we'd go about that. If we delete that bit of code there and we're not going to need this so let's delete that as well and let, let's do a, a quick test. As you may have guessed I've got some code that will do this job and form modules I think it's with end with in there and it's that one basically you can have a with statement with end with and you feed in the form name so it's saying with forms form name and those are the sort of things you can do to the form now we need the form here table ward so we copy that into the form name part we're going to want to add a record so we want that row there we don't need that one and we're not going to do anything with the filters and we don't really want to set the caption at the moment although we might want to later so let's leave that in there and uh, we've comment, commented out the caption so we can go back to it later if we want to. This shows you what you can do with a text control. You can actually pass in a new default value for it but it has to be surrounded by an extra set of quotes because the te you have the text and you also if you look in the forms text box controls property you'll see that it's usually surrounded by uh, quotes. You can actually call a function in your form like that and uh, we've got captioned in twice haven't we? So let's, uh, when we take that one out so that's an obvious edit to my stock of code, need to get rid of that extra line there. Now I just sneaked off to find out the name of the control in the form award, it's not uh, correct what I've laid, named it up there so I'll just have to change that but it's also got a text a text box called short title and that should be form award now that ah, that won't work because there's no function in there with that name so we take that out of the way as well and let's uh, debug see what happens and it's passed triple X into the short title. Now if we open that form up directly there's nothing there and if, even if I go to a new record there's nothing there. So that, that uh, triple X has come from here. So I hope you can see where I'm going with this. We can use this here in I'm going to move this down as touch so we can see a bit more what's going on we can use that in here I'll just sort sort the formatting out and get back to you and what we actually need in here is the text short title now this won't work but I'll just show you because it's uh, an easy mistake to make form name see it's passed in the text not the value of the um, let's get there passed in not not the value from the record set which was passed into the, the variable so what we need to do is we still need the quotes around it but we have to put them in add them in a slightly 
different way. We could add them there, um, but I find it's better if we go here. So we do text, short title equals, then we want character, character 34, text, short title, no we don't, we want an and in there to concatenate it, then we want an and in there. And then, because that's a variable, you can put it in there like that. Just do a, I'm just doing debug, compile, save it, and so what have we got? Press that. So it's pass through A H A E, whatever that is. A H A E. That's ah, that one there. So let's see if it passes through DDD. There you go, so we know it's working. So now all we need to do is add the rest of the fields. Basically follow that pattern. Uh, so we could say we're going to have a project title, I should think. Ah, we need to make this here. Right, I paused it and uh, added all the bits as you can see there. So basically it's extracting the information from the record set, which is that one there, taking the information out of the field name where award equals true, where the checkbox is there, and passing it through with into uh, form award. So you open the form in add mode. So it's so this is one of the advantages of this way of doing it. The record won't be saved until you actually add a record of your own. So it fills up all the default values with these values. So we'll see that debug. It's fine. So just best 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 way to show you. So let's have a look. We'll have that one there. Ha. Call that the ha ha row go. Right, we've got the ha ha row. So, but look, we haven't generated a new record. So, it won't generate a new record. So, if I go new entry, now you've got a new entry. So, if we go into the table, was it application table? It wasn't that one. It's this one. We've got now got new entry there. So the next record would be five. So let's try that and see what happens. Open form main. Let's do the one being D beginning D D D. Right. But it's not entered a new record. So if we added something in there, it would update and add a new record, but we haven't. So if we go back to the table. We're still on record four. New five hasn't been added, which is handy sometimes. Um, there was one other thing I was going to show you. Oh yeah, what happens if we check more than two? So do we get D or the DD one or the FGS one? I'm thinking the FGS. Yes, there you go. Okay, so it still works even if you select more than one. Although you could add some code to count how many were checked. What happens if there isn't one checked? Ah. That's another story.